I was sitting here working on this uh, PTO for the 420. Uh, I replaced the bearing and the, the pulley here because the this is off that 420 I'm working on parting out. I uh, figure if I, before I sold this clutch I would replace the bearing. And uh, one of the things that uh, I've sold a lot of clutches over the years, uh, PTO, electromagnetic PTO clutches, uh, for both 420, 430s, 318s, 317s, whatever. Um, and a lot of times I don't think that I necessarily need to sell them, um, or at least I try to tell people that need to test them before they buy a new one, uh, because the first thing they do is, after it quits working, is go out and uh, buy a new clutch. You don't necessarily need to do that. Uh, the first thing that you should do is you should test. Obviously, you need to look at your entire electrical system. Um, and if you still can't figure it out, you've adjusted the air gap on your clutch. The whole nine yards, you need to test, you need to test your field coil. Um, the way you do that is you just need a couple leads um, that I have right here. So I just, I mean, these just, I make out of some wire and some alligator clamps. Um, I need a battery, which I've got sitting on the... Uh, table already here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I've got these bigger clamps because these are a little too small What I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp these on here I thought yep, there we go Clamp the, that there let it hang over the edge of the table Now I'll come in and clamp this one over here Like that and then what you have to do, depending on if you have a single wired, uh, double, wild, double wild wire clutch, um, if you have a double wire, you can just use uh, either one of these uh, uh, pins and you just take and you just kind of put these in there, being careful not to touch the other one. And, hmm, hopefully my battery has juice here. And then you can take your wrench and your wrench should stick to the coil. Just like that, that's an electromagnetic coil. And so that tells me that this coil's good. I mean, it's picking up the wrench and it's holding itself. That means that in the future, it's going to push. Um, when the electromagnet comes on, this sits in there like that. Your clutches are going to stick together and they're going to spin and just like they should. Um, so, I mean, just, just as we would expect it to do. So this coil is good. So I can feel comfortable selling uh, this entire clutch with a good coil. The rotor's good, it's not warped. And the bearing, the bearing is brand new. So just a nice simple thing that you can do to test your uh, coil. Um, you know, you don't necessarily have to do that, but you know, before you go out and you spend a couple hundred dollars on a on a used clutch or you spend $400 on a brand new one from Deere, it always works to uh, spend, I mean, even if you have to go out and buy the alligator clamps and the wire, you can test it for less than 10 bucks. So, um, short little video, just show you any one of the things that you can do to uh, test things. Um, obviously, uh, you know, you wanna test it before you go out and spend a bunch of money on parts. Uh, so hopefully this helps somebody. Thanks for watching.